No wonder I feel so aggravated slash sad. It's just the insane roller coaster, but I feel so much peace when I talk through it with Jesus. Let's normalize the walk with God not always being perfect or you feeling like you have it all together. Sometimes with the Christian community, you can easily go on like TikTok or Instagram and you just see so many people smiling, so many people happy, and, and it's great. Like I think it's absolutely amazing um, to see see that side of it but let's also normalize the struggles that a lot of people are dealing with let's also normalize how some like the spiritual warfare that is heightened whenever you come to the lord let's normalize how serious that can be because it's a true thing it's a true aspect that happens especially when you are trying to be used by god the warfare is just higher it seems like like for example with me sometimes i have to be like lord please help me because today i am I'm feeling a little bit more aggravated. I'm feeling a little bit more triggered. And these are things that are not going to just leave us just because we are saved. But there are things that the Lord wants us to give to him every day. Because if you are like me, where you grew up looking at a certain thing, looking at how a person talks, how a person handles situations and issues, how a person lives their daily life, a lot of times you are going to adopt those same behaviors. So when you come into Christ, let's say you grew up in a household where anger was the number one form of trying to solve situations or trying to express how you feel. Let's say you grew up in a household where maybe suppressing your emotions was something that you grew up seeing. Maybe you grew up in a household where it was always like quick reactions or like quick anger, just reacting to things so quickly, just taking no time to process what has happened and choosing to move forward with the right decision like it will be so much harder as you are an adult because although we're saved it's hard because you grew up in that way and so the Lord literally has to pluck those things from you and some people he may do it overnight but for most people it's a daily walk where you have to surrender those feelings that aggravation that anger that um that sadness whatever it is that you're feeling that's not allowing you to walk in your purpose for that day you need to surrender that to the Lord and most times it's not going to be a one two three and God gets rid of it it's going to be a daily walk walk. I think it's important for the person, the individual that is going through whatever they're going through, whether that be mood swings, aggravation, maybe you're in a rut. Maybe sometimes like we could also have like a victim mentality because I know that it's a struggle to be a Christian, but there are times where we carry on a victim mentality and the Lord just really is trying to tell you, honey, you, you got to pick yourself up and you got to you got to give it to me and you got to keep pressing forward. Because there's some times where we literally want to drag the hurt and the things that people have done to us. We want to drag that into our day and into our life every day. And there's sometimes the message may be for you, like God telling you it is time to drop that thing. It is time to let that thing go. So I think ultimately it all circles back to giving our imperfectness giving everything really to the Lord because all of us are imperfect we have areas that need work some may not some may be stronger but then we have areas all of us that really does need some surrendering to the Lord and the more that we do that the more God will guide us and give us his peace and walk us through these situations because he meets each person where they are at he knows exactly where each person is at which is the beauty of it so you could be more spiritually open as far as his word as far as your knowledge and there could be someone who is a new believer and God will meet each and every person where they're at on their journey so I think the importance of it is just continuing to be honest with ourselves and where we're at and tell those things to God and really just give it to him and God will give you peace so